Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcoming you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo Franchise Mode playthrough. Very excited to pick things up again, right where we left it off. Gonna dive on into Elite Zoo North, of course, our one and only zoo, uh, and uh, resume our recovery from a rather ominous predicament. Let's put it that way. A rather scary situation. Uh, but yeah, super excited to dive in. Honestly, skipping a day between episodes has been extremely difficult for me because I've just been itching to get back in and get to work. Uh, there have been some excellent suggestions in the comments across the board. So thank you very much for giving me some pointers. Lots of people with some great pointers, uh, giving me some ideas as well. And uh, just uh, pointing out some things that I've you know missed or sometimes overlooked. It happens very easily when you're in the middle of a, when you're recording and playing at the same time, sometimes you overlook rather uh, obvious things if you were just head on playing. Uh, so thank you very much for that. Again, as always, I want to mention right off the bat that if you are enjoying this series and you would like to see it continue, uh, don't hesitate to let me know. Please do leave a like and a comment down below. Uh, not only do the likes and comments kind of help me know that, hey, you guys are still interested, I should keep this going, uh, but also I do read all the comments and uh, take them into consideration and try to implement uh, you know, any feedback or thoughts or suggestions or questions or curiosities that you might have that you might want to see in action. So there is a lot to do today. Uh, we'll hopefully be having a couple of time lapses. Uh, so let me just kind of go over the plan as it stands right now, and then we'll start tackling it uh, right away. So well, the first thing I'm going to do is a little bit of uh, micromanaging, I suppose, uh, adjusting some of the heaters and coolers and whatnot. We'll get into that in a second, but the big plans for today, which I'm hoping to pull off. Uh, many of you pointed out that this front area, people are walking, well, people are walking miles before they see the first exhibit, and this is something I've always struggled with in these games, is uh, wh what does distance feel like? Because, you know, it's not real time. People are spending days in your zoo if this was real time. Uh, so, you know, this might be 200 meters, but to one of these people, 200 meters might feel like an eternity. I'm making up numbers, obviously. This is obviously not 200 meters. So... Many of you pointed out that these guys are walking so far before they see anything, so I should do something over here. And I got some suggestions as to what I might want to implement over here. And initially, we'd been talking about exhibit animals. Uh, you know what? Let's actually keep time moving forward. Hopefully, we'll make money that we can spend. Uh, let's keep time moving forward. Uh, but yeah, we were talking about maybe exhibit animals up over here or by the wings. But then, uh, very quickly, we decided that uh, we're going to go ahead and build... Oh, nope. Yeah, see, it doesn't let you go through the ground. That we're going to do this for our exhibit area have the, uh, you know, snakes and stuff back over here. Many of you were saying that it'd be a good idea to get uh, either the Gila monster or some uh, roaches or the Brazilian spiders because they breed very frequently and uh, we can sell those younglings, so to speak, uh, sell their offspring for some quick cash, which is probably a really good idea. So solid suggestion there. So we're going to look into that for sure. But that does have an initial, a big initial investment, uh, which is... Um, the, uh, the the exhibit itself costs three grand, right? Uh, apart from that, up front, we want to get, I'm thinking we're going to get Galapagos tortoises uh, because, again, we've kind of modified our plan over here rather than just being a North America kind of thing because there aren't enough animals in North America in this game just yet. Um, hopefully with DLC, we'll see that change. But uh, so we've changed this to the Americas as a whole, and the Galapagos tortoise, obviously, uh, you know, Central and South America, so we're able to include it in this area without breaking our plans, basically. So that's something I want to do up front over here, and I've got a bit of an interesting idea for how I want to do it. And then we're going to get our grizzly bear exhibit uh, in this area. Actually, no, sorry, in this area. Um, I keep saying over here because it's it's... Oh, damn, you know, maybe we will do it over here, and we'll just move this toilet over to this side. Fair enough, that's what we'll do. Um, I'm going to let the rain pass before I get into building and stuff. I'd like it to be sunny and clear skies. Uh, so in the meanwhile, let's go ahead and manage some of the things that we've got going on over here. For example, these coolers could very much be turned off. Uh, it, it, like, if we take a look at where all of our money is going. Our ongoing expenses, power costs are pretty high. So if we actually turn off the coolers, we might be better off. And the thing is that the Timberwolves... Again, it's negative 8 to 29, which I misread, which is why I rushed those coolers. So we can actually... Oh, man, look at how the water runs off the edges there. It's absolutely beautiful. Sorry, uh, sorry, I get distracted by that kind of stuff. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and maybe turn some of these off. Um, because... You're, you're not a cooler. Because... I think we're just wasting money here. And not only are we wasting money, but it gets chilly up over here as well, and people obviously don't like that. 
I'm going to go ahead and turn these off for now. We might turn them on later, maybe in the dead of summer or something. We'll turn them on. Uh, but it's December. It's going to be chilly. It's going to start snowing and stuff. So we can turn those off. We have the heater up front over here as well, which I'm happy to keep on because people do need that heating. Uh, and I can up the range as well. If I up it to 20, it doesn't really tell you. Let's up it to 20 so it'll at least reach a bit more of the walkway. And eventually we'll buy some more heating as well so that people can stay warm. Glad to see people are buying umbrellas and stuff, though. Um, hopefully they're buying them here. There isn't much to see. We're going to fix that very soon. We've got food. Right, and there was also the suggestion of moving food and drink closer to the wolf uh, exhibit because people are spending more time there. But I think with the uh, tortoise exhibit over here, people will hopefully be spending more time here as well. So for now, we'll keep it where it is, but we might adjust it later. A um, couple of other suggestions as well while the rain is still falling. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, I hope we get some clear skies. Well, there's the sun at least. Uh, but yeah, we wanted to also take a look at training some of our staff. Now, the reason why I didn't um, train staff just yet was because I was worried about the uh, cost. Um, like, this keeper is overworked. So maybe maybe some of these people need their... Uh, we might actually need another... Oh, you know what? Let's pause it because the weather's perfect right now. We might need another vendor because many of you were pointing out, I think quite rightfully, that uh, sometimes there are no vendors at the stores and that might be hurting my income a fair bit. Uh, so that's one thing. Uh, so we might need another vendor. We might need... Go ahead and give you guys all the central... Oh, I can't? Okay. Oh, yeah, I can. There we go. Give these guys a central work zone. I can assign them to specific shops as well, so I might micro that a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, you guys were suggesting that the mechanic and the keeper and the vet especially should be... Um, given that uh, training. And that way they'll research faster, they'll work faster, and they'll also um, have an easier time with their workload. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm a, Again, I am a little nervous because it will up their salaries, but I think it's worth doing. Let's go ahead and start with our vet over here. So Uma Dunbar, let's go ahead and... Oh, training vet will cancel their research assignment? All right, so I'm going to wait until this research assignment is done, and then I'll, I'll do that. And I assume it would be the same for the mechanic as well. Need more training to do the switch work. Yeah, poor poor guy's not having a good time. Sure, let's go ahead and give him some training. So training scheduled. I see, that's why. That's why it costs money, because he actually has to be trained properly. Fair enough. Uh, so yeah, you go ahead and do that, and hopefully that'll help him out, because he's not having a good time at all. Um, and then let's go ahead and get our keeper, keeper, keeper. You, my good friend. How are you feeling? We gotta fix the... Um, I got it pretty good. He seems pretty happy. We do have to fix our walls again. But let's go ahead and get Guy here training. I think it's worth it. Again, he'll ask for more money as a result of it, but I think it's worth it. And then we'll get our vet as soon as we finish the uh, research that we've got. Ooh. Okay, yeah. I already said hello to you. Let's say hello to you as well. Get that extra um, con conservation credit over here. And let's take a look at this real quick. So two exhibit species, hopefully we'll get that done today and that'll be an extra grant, so that's nice actually. And I want to take a quick peek at our options here. So exhibit trading, first of all, uh, there was the suggestion of getting the Brazilian spiders because they breed a lot. Uh, these will ex actually expire pretty soon. Um, what was the other suggestion? There was also roaches and gila monsters. Now I've, I've seen a couple of people ask for gila monsters. So let's go ahead and see, gila monster? Is that, is that gila monster? Always feels weird saying monster. They're pretty cheap. Um, fertility is low on you. I need some high fertility, please. I need the bibbes. Okay, no. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Brazilian spiders then. Uh, Brazilian wandering spider, I suppose. Hopefully they... Uh, ooh, 67% on you. 50-50. You know what? I could get these two. Um... Yeah, they seem... Oh, 75. Okay, let's do that. Let's go ahead and adopt you. Not very expensive. So we're going to get some oh, Brazilian wandering spiders. There's the female, and there is the male. Not very expensive. I'm just getting these in stock. Actually, you know what? Three grand isn't that bad, and that'll give us a grand as well. So let's go ahead and start with the Brazilian wandering spider. Um, what am I looking at? I'm looking at... I'm looking for your Zoopedia entry. Just so we can learn a little bit more about you. So again, this is our America's region. So I have no issue with that. We've adjusted as needed. So life expectancy is four years. Excellent. Group size is one to six. So we can actually get more. 
let's learn something about these guys. So the Brisbane Wandering Spider is a solitary animal. They do not spend time together except during the mating season. Okay, when males search for females and may challenge other males for mating rights. Okay, exhibits are large enough to support a small population. All right. Uh, during the mating season, the males spend a lot of their time roaming in an attempt to find females. When one is encountered, and if she allows it, he will attempt to mate with her before moving away quickly afterwards so that she does not kill and eat him. <laughs> the female lays up to 3,000 eggs in several egg sacs, which she will check on and guard until they hatch. When they do, the hatchlings are independent and will move off to live on their own, going through 5 to 10 molts before they are fully grown. So, let's start with a breeding pair. See how that goes. Uh, number of offspring per mating event is 2 to 4, so that's not bad. Um, they are almost sexually mature. Average reproductivity in captivity. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. So let's go ahead and get this set up. Oof. Sorry, reading about how many eggs they lay just makes <laughs> makes me very uncomfortable. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I have arachnophobia, um, but I certainly get uncomfortable at the sight of uh, spiders and roaches and stuff. Just, I've never... I think I watched the movie Arachnophobia when I was far too young. <laughs> that might be what did it. That might be what did me in. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and get you sorted over here. We'll have to get rid of the path over there, or or we can place you over here. I'll have to dig a bit more. Yeah, let's keep you on the same side. Is it unethical to put these guys side by side? Will they hate each other? Should I give some more room over here? Let's go ahead and do that, actually. I'm going to go ahead and... Extend the path a little bit. And I might actually want to change what the path looks like over here. Like, I might... Oh, you know what would be really neat? Oh, imagine actually, yeah, like walking on rock. Right? That seems cool to me. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I like that. Uh, let's go ahead and get our grid popping over here. Unfortunately, we're going to have to do a little bit of nudging, it seems. Fair enough. Delete you. Okay. We're going to want to... I think we're going to want to move this thing over. Oh. You, you can stay there. You can stay there. The, the pathing stuff, honestly, sometimes just uh, confuses the crap out of me. Uh, let's go ahead and put you... Yeah, see, now, now, now it wants to attach like that. Okay. Okay, I can... Uh, I can dig it, I think. Go ahead and get... You extended this way just to just to check, right? Oh, and I do hope we can get power out here. Actually, I should have checked that first. How far does our power reach? Uh, where is our... Zoom me out. There we go. Where is our power? Kind of cumbersome trying to find our power here. Okay, there you are. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Navigating my own. Okay, yeah, we have, we have range. We have range. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure, because otherwise that would be quite unfortunate. So let's see how we can actually place it down there. I wish the camera... I, this this doesn't intercept through terrain, unfortunately. This little check mark over here, or whatever you want to call it. Switch toggle. Alright, so if we put you down over here, let's hook you up to this as a grid. There we go. Okay, so it will connect this way now. Great. Go ahead and drop you over here. Kind of expensive. Let's see if people can come in from multiple sides. I'm, I'm going to clean this up later. Uh, I'm not going to clean it up right now, but it definitely needs a little bit of uh, work. It definitely needs a little bit of work. Let's go ahead and get these spiders, though, in here. Um, both of you. Move them in here. And let's go ahead and take a look at our Zoopedia again. And make sure they're going to be comfortable in here. Let's get time moving so they actually get delivered. And Zoopedia, Brazilian Wandering Spider, low on cash. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. Uh, I'm painfully aware. What are we looking at here? 23 to 29 and 50 to 84. 23 to 29. And 80 to 84, was it? Oh, I won my little thingy. Uh, 50 to 84. So 82 is fair. Oof, gross. So, so humid. Um, now, they're not going to have a, f fan a grand time just yet, unfortunately. But we'll research them soon as well. I might want to hire a vet soon so we can do a bit more research. Let's go ahead and get our education happening over here. Mm, down over here, maybe. And let's get the donation box as well. Oh my god. Negative 175. 
I don't get this. <laughs> Sometimes... How do we just lose that much money? Is it at the start of the year, at the end of the month, at the beginning of a new month? Like, let's see, what happens when we get into February? It doesn't suddenly drop at the at the beginning of a new month. It happens sometime in the middle. Okay, we'll see. We'll see what's going on. How did I... Alright. There we go. Let's claim that reward. That'll bounce me back into the positives, at least. And where is... We've already said hello to both of you. The VIP is due in sometime soon as well, aren't they? Did I miss them? Hmm. Well, hopefully we're okay. Go ahead and get time moving again. I need I need more money before I'm comfortable doing our uh, our exhibit up over here, our habitat or whatever we like to call it. I do want to get some more educational speakers as well. Many of you have been pointing out that people are uh, uh, not getting educated because we don't have enough educational speakers. And fair enough, I guess uh, that's a bigger concern than I'd initially anticipated. I thought it was a choice. You could choose to have the speaker as well, but apparently that's not it. That's adorable. Animals hungry. Well, let's feed them. No? Where is their keeper? Where is their keeper? Guess he's overworked. Expecting habitat. Exiting habitat. Get them food. Oh, I guess he's training, that's why. Alright, let's go ahead and hire another keeper. I think we need one. Yes, it's expensive, but... Uh, I don't want to cancel their training because we already invested in that. Looks like we're making a decent bit of money. Let's go ahead and yeah, hire a keeper. We can't have hungry animals. Give you the central work zone as well. And let's make sure we're calling a keeper. I mean, call a keeper this animal or no? I want to... Don't know if we can tell a keeper to... Add food. Yeah. That hypothetically should work. And we're making money again, so that's good. <laughs> okay. Oof. Fair enough. And now hopefully people down here are having a good time. Checking out the spider. Oh, there goes the camera again. Checking out the spiders. People don't really make their way down over here, do they? Spiders are in here, I should hope. Yeah, they're in here. Hopefully they'll get to work, so to speak. Let's go ahead and get the, um... Let's get you... Over here instead. Because clearly people want to be on this side, so I'll allow it. Like so. Over here, and let's get the donation box as well. Because without the donation box, I mean, we're not... Making money. <laughs> and... I think that's a worthwhile expense. Go ahead and get you over here. Kind of blocks the approach there. Get you over here. Right, right in people's faces. Look, you're looking at the spiders. Pay me. Well, not pay me, but you know. Help the conservation effort. Okay, cool. Alright, let's resume time again, and I might actually speed things up so we are able to actually get to a decent financial situation. Now, the thing is, about the habitat up front, uh, we could actually get... Oh, this is adorable. Uh, we could actually... Oh, that's so much cuter than I thought it was. Come on, go for it again, buddy. Come on! I do need to add her name to our sign as well. But, um... The good thing is that we have conservation credits with which we can get some more animals. So I might look into doing that. Um, and building the habitat itself up front isn't going to be all that expensive, I don't think. We're making okay money. We're at 2G+. plus. We're making okay money again. Mommy and Daddy are here. They're fine. And again, once these spiders hopefully start... Uh, Oh, can't find accessible staff room. I think it's just because it's been jammed up. Uh, w once these uh, spiders start having babies, I'll be able to... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sell some of them out. That'll be good. Okay, this is not the perfect time for the, uh, the inspector to come through because are these animals still hungry? I really hope not. Looks like they're pretty happy overall. Yep, keeper on route still. There he is. Adding food, I hope? Looks like it. Alright, good, good, good. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, so they'll hopefully be well-fed. Um, alright. Maybe we'll work on our... Oh, see what I mean? We just had 2,000. Didn't I just say we had 2,000? <laughs> now we're down to 400. Ridiculous. 
And now we're down to negative 500. I might need to just take a loan. I think I'm, uh, I think it, I, I think it's a pipe dream to think that we'll be able to sustain ourselves. If we hit negative 1,000, I'm taking a loan. Jeez, okay, what are people saying here? Make a price is fair. And one thing I wanted to do was adjust this uh, path as well so people can get a better view. Because it looks like that people aren't actually getting close enough. But again, every little thing costs a little bit of money, right? Mechanic research is complete. Good stuff. You continue that. Would like to have trained him, but it is what it is. Okay. Money is recovering. Money is recovering. Let's speed it up a little bit more as well. Again, we can't just kind of sit here in, in real time and, and watch our money go up, right? I don't think that's entertaining for anybody. Uh, so hopefully this will work out. I do need to get some more speakers and stuff as well, but every little expense, every little expense hurts us. Cleanliness is solid. Education is low. Winona and Nekedra. Ooh, this isn't good. Winona is starving. Nekedra is dehydrated. Our inspection report is lower than the last one. Nekedra, can you not drink over here? Nekedra, where are you? Her hydration is 100%. Drink cleanliness is 99%. I think it was just a matter of timing. We just got very unlucky with the timing of that inspection. Fair enough. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? People are coming through. They're buying their food and stuff as well. Inspector arriving in 24-ish, 23 months. Literally read the number wrong. I mean, I could start building our habitat over here. and hope that people will donate a bit more. Okay, let's go ahead and pause. I'm going to adjust the path over here. Because again, if people aren't getting good views, they aren't spending money. If they aren't spending money on donations, then I'm not making money. Let's go ahead and get the path. And hopefully this will work as a way to... um. Get the path to line up. Terrain is too uneven for placement. Okay. Latin terrain isn't going to work. Okay, I might need to actually... Destroy the path here. Oh, of course it's going to do that. Just demolish the path and rebuild it to actually attach to that more nicely. Oh, there we go. That gets in a little bit closer. That's what I was hoping for. I th think that'll give him a better view. Hard to tell, you know? I think people get a decent view from up over here. Let's go ahead and move you back to here. We'll see if that works. See if that works a little bit better. Because this, this spot's actually been getting a decent number of donations, so at least there's that. Not the best, but, you know, a decent number. And what's the deal here? Souvenir profit guesstimates reduce crime. Have no crime for three months. I mean, I think we're good so far, right? All right, we're about to hit a, a thousand. There it is. Let's go ahead and build our next exhibit. The more exhibits we have, the more money we'll make, right? So let's go ahead and work on the... Well, let's wait for sunrise. Sorry. I, I hate delaying like that. Let's just wait for the sun to come up so I have a clear view as we're as we're building our, uh, our front exhibit. The grizzly bear will probably be the next one we build. I want to start with the, uh, the, the tortoise exhibit first. Lots of people going into the cave, which is nice to see. People are actually checking this area. Oh, wow, people are enjoying the spiders quite a bit, it seems. Okay, not enough to donate a lot, but, you know, something. And there goes our money again. All right, you know what, folks? I think uh, I think it's time for a loan. I think it's time for a loan. We'll take a small one. Nothing too big, but I think 20000 maybe even 5000 will help us bounce back. If we go 5000 10% interest. Yearly cost is pretty low. It'll just take us out of the hole, give us enough money to prepare the tortoise exhibit, and that'll hopefully allow us to pay the loan back and stay afloat. I mean, this is just... I'm dancing with the devil here. I'm dancing with the devil here. Yeah, let's take the loan. This is scary. Take it. All right, now we need to build our exhibit. It's a lot to pay off. So if I, if I get the money with interest, I can pay it off right away. So let's try and get that to happen. Let's, um, I mean, I want to say let's not over overcomplicate things over here, but you know how we're going to do it, right? You know we're going to overcomplicate it. Seems as though we've reduced crime for three months as well, so I'm going to get... Oh, kind of wish I hadn't taken that loan. Claim that reward. 
I'll take it. I'll take the extra money. We can pay off our loan right now, which is just absolutely silly. But uh, no, no, no. Let's go ahead and, and build the exhibit over here. Make it a great exhibit. We'll get some more speakers and stuff as well. So education is higher. The more educated and the smarter the guests are, I think the more willing they are to donate. Um, and hopefully that'll that'll make all the difference in the world. Place rocks. Ticket price is good. People are. It seems that people are overall pretty happy. I mean, one person complaining about prices at the info center, I can't do anything about that. And back over here, we're getting quite the crowd as well. Now, what's the deal with our spiders, actually? Are they old enough? Just check here real quick. Are they even having a good time? So I, I imagine... You know what? They're okay. Not very happy with the layout. Not very happy with the layout. 1.5, 1.5. I believe it was two years when they become... Um, Sexually mature? No, one year. All right, get to it, spiders. Get to it. Give me the four to five offspring so I can have that safety net of money. All right, folks. Enough babbling, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and work on our exhibit over here. I'm really excited for this one because I've got some interesting plans. Let's put it that way. I've got some interesting plans and I hope you guys like it. So uh, we're going to hop on into time lapse mode, obviously, because uh, it will take some time to build it out. Uh, let's just take a quick peek first. I want to make sure that we are able to get the Galapagos tortoise using conservation credits because otherwise we're shooting ourselves in the foot. We're building a building a exhibit for something we can't even get. And I want to get a breeding pair. Is the other thing. I want to make sure I can get a breeding pair. So let's go ahead and very quickly check our Zoopedia over here. And let's take a look at okay, so one to four. One male, three females we can do. Uh, they live for 100 years, so that's good. I want to get something that's past 22 years. Okay, older than 22. Older than 22. Alright, so 300. 200 over here. Want to make sure fertility is pretty high. So that's, that's for example, a good pick. Uh, this guy's actually pretty good. Um, Let's see. I, I, I'm actually a big fan of the first one we looked at. Ooh, Ricardo's pretty good as well. I like Ricardo more. Alright, Ricardo, you're our top pick right now. Oh, but really expensive though. That's that's the downside. Obviously. I mean that's that's the balancing act, obviously. Philippe, you're looking pretty good. You know what? Let's get Philippe. He's pretty cheap. He's pretty appealing. And uh decent decent genes. Not the best, but decent genes. So, adopt you. 22.1, so you're old enough. And now we need a female. Alright, well, <laughs> need a female clicks on male. Uh, let's see. Alright, Abril, you look good. Longevity's kind of low. Let's go with, uh, let's go with Abril. Decent, similar-ish age, so, you know, they'll live together for long enough. Cheap-ish. Decent genes, not the best longevity, but decent genes. So let's go ahead and adopt you. I said, let's go ahead and adopt you. I said, let's go ahead and adopt you. Come on. <laughs> These clicks not working is... Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, cool. So we've got our tortoises, and we have our extra... You know what? Can we actually... Make a quick, very quick buck. Not a fan of that. Uh, all right. Time lapse time. The centerpiece of this concept is actually, well, the thing I work on first, a bit of a, like, a bit of an archway, I guess, made of soil and rock and grass. Uh, remember, the design ethos of this zoo and of this franchise is an interesting experience for the animals as well as the guests. So I thought it'd be pretty cool if guests, as they walk in, they get to walk under this really cool kind of, again, archway. Uh, but not only is it an entry tunnel, it also acts as a... Uh, like a, a, a crossing path uh, was an overpass for the tortoises so they can actually maybe climb across and enjoy both sides of the front now you can see I actually get a little flustered and maybe frustrated because the train wasn't really molding exactly how I wanted it to so I didn't know if it was going to work out. So I got a little disheartened there, but you got to try, right? When you're trying to do something a little different, uh, sometimes you'll come across challenges and you just power through them and see what you can do. So you can see I set down the chain link fence because I figure 
It's a tortoise. They don't, they don't need uh, heavy fencing or anything. So just a chain link fence and go all the way around. And of course, around the, uh, the little bridge over here, I use the nulls because I don't want an actual physical barrier up there. I figure they're not going to jump from that height. Uh, so I, I hope that the nulls kind of work nicely. And again, you can see I kind of go in there and I smooth the terrain out. I really want them to use that because that's my centerpiece here. Uh, that's the big you know, interesting factor, because for now, I'm keeping it pretty low cost. I've learned my lesson from Wolf Rock, can't overdo it right from the beginning. Uh, so keeping it pretty low cost, we will make it fancier in the future. But for now, I need that bridge to work. And again, you can see I'm like, you know what, I'm done with it for now. Let's go ahead and deal with some of these paths and whatnot, fiddle around with the annoying path system. Um, but, uh, but really kind of wondering slash worried about that uh, that bridge uh ultimately i do manage to get the staff path to work get the entry point over there i think i swap out some of the fencing oh yeah you can see i go in there and, and clean up so try to clean up the terrain again uh, but i do change some of the fencing into glass i don't know if that's necessary uh, but I figure, you know what, let's be safe. Uh, but before I do that, all right, I, I do check in to see if they need water. They don't need water to swim in, but I figured it'd be nice for them to drink out of an actual pond or something. And then I realized our water treatment facility is all the way at the other corner of the zoo. So that can wait when we can afford another water treatment facility. We'll do that. For now, we'll have a regular feeding and drinking area close to the corner there so people can actually see these tortoises eat and drink and we'll get a ball in there as well some minimal enrichment uh whatever's possible however we can keep them happy and again keep costs low ish um but be ready to you know keep, keep the space and the room available for future upgrades and you can see now it's time to go in and uh and create a bit of a hard shelter area. Of course, they want a place to hide if it starts to rain, so I try to match their tropical climate. That's what I was checking in the Zoopedia there. Get the climate looking right and uh, and drop some of those rocks in so they can tuck in over there when it starts to rain. Uh, should be nice and comfy. And also, it's right by the entrance, so as people come in, they might catch some tortoises sleeping or, you know, ducking from under the rain. Uh, again, messing around with the train over there. Just really not sure if this is going to work, so you can see... Uh, you can see me kind of going in, trying to find ways to smooth it and change the shape a little bit. Ultimately, I get rid of the null barriers because it was preventing me from terraforming. So I get rid of those barriers and then I go in again, again, just to smooth it out, get the right angles, because that looks like a very steep drop. And I'm like, I wouldn't go up or down that if I was if I was a tortoise. Not, not that I am, but, you know, I'm trying to put myself in the head of the tortoise. So again, going in, adjusting a little bit more, and I go, you know what? Even if it doesn't work as a bridge, it's a pretty cool tunnel. We can use it for signage and things like that. Let's go ahead and get our donation uh, box boxes and our education boards down and relying really on that one side my initial plan was to use both sides of the bridge but since i don't know if the bridge is going to work i go heavy on this one side and uh, we'll, we'll experiment with the other side if that bridge works out all right back from the time lapse sorry i got a little distracted there started putting down speakers around the timberwolf area as well because many of you had mentioned i should get more speakers down and i figured i'd taken the loan so might as well do it now so um yeah, as I'm sure I maybe expressed during the time lapse as well, this didn't work out exactly as I had intended. Uh, I still like how it kind of feels overall when you walk in, you go through this like, uh, you know, kind of tunnel archway kind of a thing. Maybe you'll catch sight of a giant Galapagos uh, tortoise on, on your way in already. Ooh, wow, really exciting, really interesting. Uh, in fact, you know what? On the topic of how interesting that is, maybe we got a donation box right in here right away. You know what? You like those those tortoises taking a little nap under their hard shelter? There you go. Uh, maybe. Maybe that'll work. Maybe we need to get... I mean, it's a little crammed up front over here, but hey, it's the, it's the literal opposite of people having to walk miles to see the first exhibit. Hopefully, this will work nicely. What I was hoping for is... Um, and what I might need to do is eventually when we have some more money is I might expand this exhibit to make it work the way I wanted. I'm hoping that the tortoises will be able to actually go over this archway and, uh, and, and you know, hang out over here as well. Initially, I was going to spread out their various, like, needs. So some things over here, some things over here. That would kind of get them to move back and forth. But uh, after having built it, I don't feel that they're necessarily going to do that. So I might not uh, pursue that kind of split uh situation instead what i might do is i might expand this a little bit further this way expand this a little bit further this way and then make them two separate exhibits rather than one giant exhibit um so let's go ahead and actually i just realized i apologize for this i just realized that i forgot to put back in the uh, null over here so let's go ahead and get those null barriers back up in here hopefully it won't take me very long that i need to like time lapse or anything Oh, come on, game. There we go. Um, I'm really hoping this works out. This, like, I came up with this idea, um, I guess right when someone had mentioned, like, oh, you should do something in the front. I was like, yeah, but what makes for an interesting front uh, exhibit? 
Um, and then I thought, oh, you know what? If we can get this to work, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. So I really hope this works out. I have my doubts. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You know, uh, you can't you, you can't blame yourself for trying, right? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So let's go ahead and get this set up and hope, just hope beyond hope that it works. And even if it doesn't, it's a cool experience for the guests, I think, coming in. And we'll find a way to, whoops, find a way to take advantage of the uh, situation at hand, I suppose. All right, so that's the uh, habitat and the uh, boundaries and all set. I don't know if you need glass to look through a chain link fence, but just in case I did it, we have a little education corner over here as well. I really hope this works out, otherwise that was a massive waste of money. Now, granted, we didn't use all of our loan money, so we still have a bit of a buffer. Um... Oh god, <laughs> this this might we might have shot ourselves in the foot with this uh, endeavor over here, but let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get our beautiful beautiful tortoises. Again, if we're fortunate, then we'll actually see them uh, mate as well, which would be great. We can release them into the wild. We can trade the, the the children as well for for some money. Hopefully, I mean we have actually you know what sitting right here we have two G's ish approximately, so that's not bad. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and move you in here. It sees it as one big habitat. We also need a name for this habitat. Right now it's just Habitat 2. Uh, so we need, a, we need a nice name for this habitat as well. Uh, and then maybe we can get some signage and stuff done. So this one's a little less done up than Wolf Rock right now. But that's because I think I learned my lesson with Wolf Rock. Let's, let's take it easy just a little bit, right? Make it a little bit easier uh, at, at the start and uh, and then evolve these habitats as uh, as time goes on. Now, I'm going to wait until the tortoises get dropped off over here because then I can see A, if they can actually move around and B, I can see their, you know, habitat preferences, their vegetation preferences, the soil and stuff like that. And then I'll go in and clean that stuff up. And with the money we have, we could actually also get the uh, grizzly bear exhibit I was talking about on that side. So we'll see about that. But here, here we go. Here comes the first of two tortoises. Hopefully they'll have a field day over here. Oh, they're both coming in at the same time. Great. I do hope people uh, check these guys out and, and enjoy their company. So let's go ahead and take a... You're not very giant at all. <laughs> I, mean, I guess you've only lived a quarter of your life, so how giant can you get? Overlapping tortoises. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and take a look at all this. Because, like, their climate and stuff is going to be very different. There's going to be a lot of stuff that we need to look out for over here. Socially, they're happy. Habitat-wise, I guess they're happy with the temperature and stuff overall. I really, really, come on. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. <gasps> oh, they can do it. They can do it. Yes. No way. I was totally expecting it not to work out. All right, you know what? This is actually great. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. Like, we might need a little bit of smoothing here and there, but... Oh, no. No, what have I done? Why did I do that? No, there we go. Okay, it was just up updating a little bit. <laughs> I was like, did I just break it? You know what? I'm going to leave it as is for now. So this is a bit of a danger zone. But that's fine, because what we can do is we can add some, like, rocks and stuff over here. And uh, and make it harder to jump out of. This is great. And in fact, I do want rocks here anyway, because I think I want to have, like, a welcome sign over here. So that works out nicely. Uh, this will go with taiga style. Or, hmm. Is there something that's a little bit darker? I would like that. I think a little bit. There we go. This is more what I was thinking. Do something like this. Pop you down over here. Go ahead and get in that advanced mode. And do something like that. Hopefully this will keep uh, these bad boys and girls in. I'm so happy that this worked. I'm like, oh. So happy. Because as I was making it, um, I, 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 I was immediately very disappointed at... Uh, at my attempt, I was just like, oh, why did I try this? Because it's it's franchise mode, so you can't just undo, you know, you, you're kind of stuck with it. You spent the money, you've made the commitment. Um, so I was really kind of worried and, and, and panicking. So this is this is nice. Now, the next step is, of course, to see if they'll actually interact with the um, the land, with the, the, the tunnel, the overpass, whatever you want to call it. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. All right, cool. So that's this is good enough. Sorry, I, I know this should be time lapse, but I hope you guys don't mind just a little bit. There we go. So hopefully that'll block them off. We'll we'll finesse that later a, bit, a little bit more. Uh, food and water is over here. We'll we've got a little bit of enrichment over here as well. We'll see if they start to uh, push and move back and forth. We'll see how quickly they decide to do that, and uh, and then we'll start to spread out some of the interactive elements. Maybe get some donation boxes and educational uh, opportunities over here as well. Yeah, see people. Yes, excellent. 
That's right, watch them. Now, here's what we're gonna do actually. Over here, we're gonna get an educational board. Right away. I think on the tunnel over here is not a bad idea. Hopefully, we can actually rotate you so you're like this. Okay, excellent. And then you, oh, that's that's not excellent. That's not excellent at all. It just looks goofy if it's um inside the stone. You're of course about the tortoises. Did I say turtle at one point? I meant tortoise. And you as well, of course, about the tortoise. Excellent. And we got a speaker there. Do we get a speaker over here? I suppose we could. It's just a hundred bucks. Just a hundred bucks. Let's go ahead and get the uh, educational speaker right behind you. There we go. And turn you on to that over here as well. Let's make sure you are teaching people about the right thing, not just sitting there quietly. And all right, great. So uh, we could take a look at their habitat situation. Happy with the coverage overall. Some of these things obviously don't line up with their personal preferences. So let's go ahead and move some of these things out of here, I think. Don't want to upset the uh, tortoises. It's just like, what the hell are these trees, man? Okay, things over there, you over here, you over here, you're too close as well. Alright, so let's let's move some of these things around. Uh, I think I'm going to just do a quick time lapse over here again. This one's a super short one, actually, but I uh, just wanted to point out, this was an excellent suggestion in the comments uh, that I should maybe move some of the trees that are scattered around and actually use those trees so I don't have to spend money to buy them. Uh, and this was a great opportunity to actually take advantage of that suggestion. Uh, I also noticed that uh, we need to change the terrain and get some more hard shelter going, so I'll be working on that, I think, in this time lapse as well. Uh, just smoothing some stuff out, making sure those tortoises are happy uh, with the space and the type of space they have. But yeah, pretty short time lapse this one, but just figured you don't want to see it in slow motion. In fact, I probably could have been quiet for this entire time and let you guys enjoy some of the music. All right, we're back. Um, so just again, just a little bit of adjusting over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a lot more in depth with this. I think later, especially now that I know that this works, I'm gonna go ham on this uh, when I think I'm a bit more comfortable with the money. But right now, it looks like the animals are overall pretty happy. They're they're very happy with the uh, terrain distribution. Hard shelter. I think once I hit play, hopefully they'll detect that this new hard shelter is there because I literally doubled it. So it's kind of ridiculous that I didn't move it all. So hopefully that'll change. Um, and again, I just, I really, really hope that they are still able to navigate this. A bit of a bumpy path over here. Uh, they can apparently still leap out of here. So that's, you know what, let's make sure that doesn't happen. Make sure that doesn't happen, shall we? Go ahead and raise you a little bit more. That's got to do the trick, right? That's got to do the trick, right? Really? You're still able to jump off that? Nah, I don't buy that. I think it's just because of, uh, we're paused. Um, enrichment is a little bit on the low side. I'm hoping that what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start researching the, um, let's go ahead and get another vet. Yeah, let's get another vet. And then we'll start researching both, uh, well, two animals at a time. Our vendors are all overworked. We need to get some more vendors. Or, yeah, you're also overworked. Let's go ahead and get higher vet. I need to do better with my, uh, staff management over here. I need to do a lot better with my staff management. Uh, so you're still researching the wolves. You're getting some advanced research done. Oh, I'm wondering if I'm wasting time with that. Let's go ahead and get you working on the Galapagos giant tortoise. Try and make them a little bit happier. Get some more enrichment going on over there so they're you know more entertaining for the guests and stuff as well. I really hope this works out. And, and in the future, what I'm thinking is we'll also give them a little bit of a little like lake or a pond kind of a thing. Uh, my concern right now is that the uh, water filtration system... Whoops. Do we have... Yeah, we do. The water filtration system is all the way over there. We'd have to build another one down over here. Uh, and I don't want to make that investment right now. So we're going to wait for a pond. I'm trying to be a bit more reasonable with um, with our setup. One over the top with our uh, wolf rock there. And again, just a reminder, we do need a name uh, so that I can get a sign up. Maybe a sign over here by the side. Uh, integrated a bit more nicely. But yeah, feeling pretty good about this. All right, feeling pretty good about this. I want to see, I want to see them go over their little archway over here. And actually, I should do a quick double check. They are so slow, <laughs> so slow. Um, still a bit of an escape hazard up there, but this is looking pretty smooth. It's looking pretty smooth. Let's go ahead and raise you up a little bit. There we go. Ah, come on, come on. How about that? Once they get bigger, I'm very curious as well if this will change. Three fighting due to overcrowding. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, 
Hang on. Jackson and Winona, are you fighting? You're fighting. Okay. That's not good. Too many adults at Animal Social Group. Oh, is, um, is, uh, is there Pupper an adult now as well? Seems to be the case. So Nakedra is now an adult. I mean, do we sell Nakedra off? I feel kind of bad doing that. Oh, this is why I had the, the, the cooling on, is because the rock becomes a problem. So we might want to turn one of these into an active cooler. I think this one's a nice one to do. Go ahead and turn you on. Um, all right. So then the question becomes, what do we do here? Do we remove the old mother? What do we have in our trading center? We've got another female wolf. We can pull Nakedra and Winona away and then get... Um, hmm. Nakedra's one star animal rating? What? Why? Why so low quality? Her genetics are better than both of her parents. Her appeal is high. Actually quite surprising. I'm trying to figure this out. I could release her into the wild. Her parents are how old? 10.2 and 11. Sorry, I just gotta learn these animals a little bit. So 10.2 and 11. Let's go ahead into the... Zoopedia. You live for how long? 12 years. So they're, they're getting up there. Especially Jackson. Maybe we release Jackson into the wild. Jackson's getting up there. Taking to the Trade Center, we have two females. A double female bachelor group. Two years that uh, Winona will live on and then pass away, unfortunately. And then that'll give Nakedra time for us to get another male uh, in here. All right. There we go. Calm down, please. Calm down. Broken barrier. Um, let's go ahead and repair this. <laughs> that barrier's been in trouble for a while. I, th I I wonder if it's because the rocks are colliding with the uh, barrier, if it, if it considers that a collision. We can't have wolves on the loose. That would not be good. Okay, Buddy's on his way over, so that's good. Wow! That was unfortunate. These guys are not having a good time. Exhibit layout and temperature is wrong. Ooh, what's wrong over here? What's wrong over here? Why is the temperature off? I thought I checked this. Okay, we've got a mate. Hopefully they're actually mating. Um, so let's see. What often throws me off is... Oh, there we go. Okay, so this tells me climate, no power. That's why. Oh, I thought we were close enough. Jeez. Party. Making the animals upset over here. We really have to get closer? Oh. Man. <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job of keeping things running, am I? I might need to get another mechanic. Um, Go ahead and take a look at our power. Oh, it's just out of reach. Are you kidding me? Okay. Go ahead and move you one step further. And let's call a mechanic soon as well. Our mechanics are going to be overworked. Everyone's going to be overworked. I'm feeling overworked right now. Oh my god. Alright, what are we looking at here? Are you are you powered up now? Yes, you are. Operational. Layout's not that great, but temperature's good, so their welfare will hopefully go up now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, first of all, this makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> There's so many of them. Uh, but yeah, that was fast breeding, so we can actually... Oof, even just clicking on them makes me uncomfortable. They are not making any money for me. That's about to change. Let's see. If I take a look at... Like, how does this... How does this... Move them into the trade center and, and, and sell them off? I guess. Let's see. Let me let me try this out. So let's send you to the trade center. Jose. Now let's not let's not send Jose. Let's go ahead and find. We got three females, two males. What's their actual situation supposed to be? One to six. One male goes around looking for as many females as possible. So let's get rid of one of the males. Let's get rid of Ricardo. I think. Just to just to experiment, right? Enter the trade center. I mean, come on, people people aren't enjoying that exhibit. 
And you, how much can we sell you for? 650. Okay, so it's a quick buck. Cannot undo, that's fair. Fertility, longevity, okay. Now, you know what, it, 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 it's a quick buck. Can't really complain about that. What's the deal back over here? Are people enjoying this situation? Oh, buddy, yes, yes, buddy, yes, do it. Yes, yes. You got this, I believe in you. I believe in you. Oh, okay, believing a little too hard there. I'm so pumped that this is actually working out. I get a nice... Look at that. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not in slow motion. This is not an instant replay. Full speed. Giant Galapagos Tardis. Making the climb of his life. I really like the animations as well. Like, they've done a good job of, like, getting the... Getting it to, like, line up to terrain and whatnot. Yes. Come on. Come up here. Come up here. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is fantastic. They're making their way over. Now, are we making money over here? N nothing. Nothing. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, good stuff. Good stuff. What are you doing over here? Conducting research. Fair enough. Game yeah, mechanic research is complete. More barriers. I got another notification here. Go ahead and call the mechanic over here. I think I need to get another mechanic. Cancel that. Mechanic being requested. Yep. What's the deal here? Low welfare for all of these guys. They're hungry. Oh my god. Everything's catching fire here, folks. Why are you hungry? Temperature, no power again. Oh man. That, that, now it's because the power has just been uh, wrecked, I imagine. That explains the low welfare for sure. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> the water treatment's also about to blow. Oh, we don't have a path connection over here. The downside of the uh, underground construction is sometimes you can't tell. You're not super thorough. Alright, we'll be fine there. Mechanic buddy's right there. Good, good, good. Can't find accessible research. Oh, I guess because we only have the small... Uh, Research center, so I guess two people can't research at the same time. Honestly, I feel like we should stop the Timberwolf research momentarily. We've overdone it, you know what I mean? Oh, hello. As I say that. Beautiful. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and cancel that. Let's keep you working on the Galapagos tortoise, and let's see what we learned about the tortoise, actually. Did... No, they didn't make it over. Didn't yet make it over. Anyway, sorry. I want to see what we learned over here. Root vegetables, hay, sprinkler, small ball, dog ball. Okay, so just learned a little bit more. Giant Galapagos tortoises are found on many different islands in the Galapagos chain. It is believed they travel to various islands by passively floating there. Their shells are buoyant and their long necks allow tortoises to breathe as they breathe air as they float. Pretty cool. They're a vulnerable species, so they're actually one of the first species that... Uh, actually need taking care of <laughs> that we have uh, actually i should mention as well uh fun fact about tortoises now i don't know exactly how true this is i've been led to believe this by stephen fry in qi if you're aware of that show um but apparently apparently the galapagos tortoise didn't receive a scientific name for the longest time uh because <laughs> because they didn't make they never made their way back to the scientific community because oh protesters have arrived and the reason why they didn't make it back to the scientific community is because they were too tasty and i know that sounds horrifying but they would get eaten before they would make it back to europe uh, because that's where the scientific community was and so they the the apparently the giant galapagos tortoise didn't have a scientific name for the longest time uh because the community couldn't check it out which i think is just hilarious because they got eaten because <laughs> they got eaten. Uh, Alright, Abril, let's go ahead and get you out of here as well. Maybe there's just not enough food to go around. I think it's... Uh, maybe we need to get more... Keepers and stuff. I think I'm underestimating how overworked our staff is right now. 
I think I'm really underestimating that. Uh, Abril, let's go ahead and quick trade you. Yep. Confirm that. And I'm wondering, actually, if we want to quick trade... I feel bad about taking Jackson away. We actually have to update our sign over here. So it's Winona and... Nakedra. I don't know. What do you guys think? What should I? What should I do? Who should? What? What, what should we do with the wolves? I feel bad about this. Winona and Nakedra. <laughs> feel so bad to just change the sign like that. Listen, can you please leave? They're fine. Low welfare of Jose. Jose is fine. Stop. Stop it. What else is wrong with this exhibit? Layout's not that great. Their welfare should be okay. Like, the nutrition is alright. It's not perfect. But I, mean, I guess I could add... This thing, I haven't researched them really all that much. Hasn't been fed for a while, I guess. I'm gonna call a keeper here. Get them fed. That's, that's the problem there. Alright. How are we looking here? I saw a decent crowd form. <gasps> yes! They're doing it! Yes! Oh man, they're using it! Oh, I'm so happy! <laughs> I'm so glad I caught it too! It's happening! Oh, this is great! This is- oh, I'm so pleased. Totally worth it. Totally worth the massaging of the terrain. Alright, you know what that means? That means we have to adjust our exhibit to make sure that on both sides, people are getting education, people are having the opportunity to donate. We're making some good money over here. How about over here? I don't think people care. Oh, wow! I was very wrong. People do care. People are buying balloons. Oh, this is fantastic! I'm so pleased. <laughs> I'm so pleased. Uh, money's looking... Oh, oh, as I say that, we drop a thousand. About to say, money's looking okay. Ongoing expenses, staff wages are through the roof, loan payments. I mean, can I do a partial loan payment? Can't. I can't pay it off. I don't want to end up in the negatives. Wait, what's what? What have we accomplished here? Ooh, guest numbers, excellent. We hit that three hundred. Yes, claim that reward. Takes us to forty-three eighty-seven. If we get to Oh, I see. We only have a thousand five. Okay, sure. Paid off. Didn't pay too much interest on that. Was just enough to keep us going. Just enough to keep us going. Now, hopefully, we don't drop in the negatives again. All right, folks. Look at that. They're all standing here and they're looking at the. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy about this. I need to rearrange uh, the donation boxes, the speakers, and the education um, placards and stuff. Oh no! Someone lost their balloon. Talk about timing, eh? Um, oh, fun fact, actually. You can do... Um, you're an adult. You won't be as sad. Yeah, you can actually pop their balloons. <laughs> oh, okay. That's cruel. I'm sorry. Uh, folks, I'm very pleased. I'm very happy with this. Now, it looks a little messy, if I'm completely frank. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of it in terms of the actual borders, the boundaries and whatnot. We can also make this a bit of a walkthrough so people can walk in, I believe. I believe the giant, the Galapagos giant tortoise is uh, one of the animals you can do that with. So we might, you know, make a little, yeah, you can walk in, sit down at a bench, you know, have lunch with it or something. Oh, that'd be so cool. Make sure we have some trash cans as well. Um, I'm really happy with this. I got this, like, stupid grin on my face right now. I'm so happy that worked out. The wolves, I'm a little saddened by what happened here at the, uh, the marital scuffle, I suppose we should call it. Uh, that sounds horrible. Um, but we'll, we'll find a solution there. I I'm curious to know what you guys think we should do over there. Uh, these animals are hungry and thirsty, but we are sending a vet over right now, or a keeper over right now, so hopefully they'll be taken care of there. Uh, I also need to get a mechanic onto the, uh, water filtration system. Don't I? No, okay, looks like it's been taken care of. Yeah, so our ongoing expenses are going to be a bit of a problem still. Our loan payments are going to be gone, so that's good. Yeah, loan payments will be gone. Staff wages, 4Gs. Income, though. Starting to, starting to make some money, finally. You know what? We might have... We might have hit a bit of an equilibrium. We might have hit a bit of an equilibrium. And on that note, folks... Sorry, I just can't get over this. I just can't... I just can't get over this. It is so cool. 
for me at least. I hope you guys like it as well. Folks, this is where we're going to call it a session. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. There were lots of comments. I tried to uh, tackle as many of the suggestions that I could. Uh, we still have to add some lights around the zoo. We should maybe get some more food and drink going on. Uh, but overall, pretty pleased. I, I hope you guys are happy with the new uh, exhibit we've got over here. Those spiders I didn't handle very well, but we'll bounce back. Um, I need to, need to be on the ball about a lot more stuff than I was uh, anticipating with franchise mode. I'm so caught up with my financial situation that I forgot about our poor spiders, but we're, we're, we're solving that. Might also, yeah, I don't really like how this looks, so I might turn those uh, coolers back on. But overall, really happy about this. Folks, again, if you enjoyed, let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. Helps me make decisions for what to do more or less of on the channel. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big ol' thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers. <laughs>